check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev, and of course, I am so glad that you're here because tonight we are talking about another victory. If you're on YouTube right now and you're a member, hit that emoji, Canucks win, Canucks win, or you can put the Zadorov one in there as well. This is awesome. As you know, it's not only the Canucks are winning, uh, by the way, this is really, really bright, um, but it's March Madness, baby. March Madness. This is the team that I picked to win it all. And so I don't know how your brackets are do doing. Mine's already busted because Kentucky is out. It sucks. But let's talk about hockey because that's why we're here, everyone. This is why we're here. The Canucks win four to one, four to one. And I predicted a four nothing shutout, everyone. A four nothing shutout. And didn't happen, of course, but um, this has been a wild day. Knew that we were the better team. Wanted to make sure we played like it, of course. And the, guy, the boys came to play. The boys came to play. So it was really a, an amazing night that way. If you were live at the game, you would have loved it. I'm sorry that I started the stream a couple minutes late. I've had friends over for a nice... My wife made this awesome... Um, pork roast dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy and uh, you know garlic carrots and oh man it was awesome and then my friends had brought dessert and listen I don't know if you can see this uh you can't really see it well because it's too bright but let's see if I can get this it is a chocolate delight like listen this thing is like next level guys can you see this look at this chocolate this is amazing this is why I'm oh, this is why I'm late. This is why I'm late because I'm like I'm saying about it my friends. I'm having a little bit more dessert. It has been a great night. So we've been watching March Madness. We watched the Canucks game and now I shouldn't have taken that cuz I'm trying to do this. So I hope you're doing well everyone. So glad that you're here. But here's the thing. This is the big question I want to ask you tonight. Please post it in the comments. This is the question. Do you want the Canucks to re-sign Big Z? To re-sign Big Z? Do you want that to happen, right? So how come it didn't do that properly? So do you want the Canucks to re-sign Zadorov? You know what my answer is, but I want to know what your answer is. And if it's yes, how much and for how long? And if it's no, tell me why you don't want Zadorov back. That's what I want to know. But tonight's pregame stories, I'm going to get into your comments so I can see. There's already 47 comments tonight, everyone. But we're going to get into the game notes. We're going to, I'm going to go do that quickly. I'm going to dive into your information, uh, your comments. I want to get to because I love the conversation that we have after the streams of games, especially wins. But I, I love it even in losses. But don't forget that I make Canucks content that is passionate, realistic, and honest. If you like that kind of content, please hit the like and subscribe button. And you can follow me on all the socials, Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube. So let's dive in to this game, shall we? Um, first period, okay? We'll, we'll probably just talk about mostly two periods here. But one thing I noticed was tonight, Pedersen was flying. And even though I've been a critic of Pedersen, when he's been slumping, how he's been struggling, at the end of the day, 
everyone. I do want to give him when he's played well. Tonight, even though I didn't even think he got on the – he might have gone on the score sheet. I'll have to look at that in a second. But uh, he he was – he played really well. Like, it's not always about points. I loved how much he hit. I loved his effort. I thought that he was one of the difference makers for Vancouver tonight, and I was super impressed with him. And uh, I just want to give him some credit. So let's just see. Did he get any points tonight? Not a point, but I felt like he was one of our better players. Okay. So I really, I really liked how he was flying around there, hitting everyone effort wise. Uh, when he did that, uh, I don't know, dangle is the right word to say. And then it caused a penalty. If he would have scored that, that would have been like a highlight reel for a month. Uh, that was amazing. Didn't get it done. But it is what it is. So I, I was really impressed with them. I also thought our power play was so awkward tonight and ineffective. We couldn't even get it across the, the, the blue line. Never mind set up, get good opportunities. It was really, really – I'm very concerned about our power play. We have to fix this. We are so predictable right now. And this is what we used to talk about last year, the year before. We're so predictable, everyone, right? And so – this this is the thing that I, I just I, I'm so baffled with the talent we have. How is our power play so ineffective? Now the good news is we went 0 for three, and so did they. Oh, they went. Oh, we went 0 for four. It said 0 for four, and so they went 0 for three. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we won the game. But I'm just saying for a recipe to continue to win in playoffs, I think we have to the the. The power play has to get better. But the story of tonight is Drago. I mean, Zadorov, who was absolutely incredible, scored two goals. Nice goals by him as well. Uh, really appreciated him. The second one, coming into the rush, banging his stick, letting him know that it are open. The pass comes across, rifles it, loved it. First one, didn't have much room, buried it on the short side. Loved everything about Zadorov tonight. Huge fan, as you know. Okay. So the other guy is Lindholm, noticeably effective again. And so I know a lot of people are still I'm and frustrated by him. I get it. Makes sense. This is just so bright. I just it's bothering me here. Can I get it better? No. It's because it's white and the blue. See that? This is what it should look like. But the moment I go like this, it washes it out. So I've got to do. I wonder if I if I did this. Uh, just looks like a white. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Lindholm. I I felt like again he played good again for the second game in a row where he was noticeably much better. I am encouraged as we're getting to the playoffs. We need to have Lindholm sightings. He needs to do good stuff. Okay, so. But if we go into the second period, there's nothing more to talk about, everyone, except for this. That pass from Bluger to Garland, and then the snipe he had, rips it over the shoulder of the goaltender. Unbelievable, everyone. Absolutely unbelievable. Was was really fun to watch. Once that got, shot went in, the game's over, right? It's 3 nothing. We We got it in the bag. Right, we're we're all good, right? We're all good, and then, um, of course, the Habs screw up my prediction and break the DeSmith shutout. Who DeSmith played fantastic tonight, everyone. He was on point. He was in great position. He he had some really nice saves. Uh, loved, loved, loved what we saw from DeSmith. And when you have a goalie who's playing like that, you don't even think about Demko. That's how good it was. And then, of course, in the third period, um, we need to talk about the Amon tip, right? Um, I, I thought that was beautiful. It was good to see him get a, over onto the score sheet. And, and then it was 4-1. Game's over. Good night. It started getting a little chippy, but that's all it was, everyone. That's all it was. So um, I, I was impressed by our Canucks tonight. Okay, let me just dive into some comments here. Before we talk about anything else, I want to get more into the game a little bit more. So I want to, I want to, okay. So thank you so much for guys uh, for posting. Um, 
I want to do one thing about story time. So don't forget to, you're going to like this story about today. Okay. So Carol's here. She's diving into the emojis. Canucks win, Hoaglander, our captains, Adoroff. All those emojis are awesome. Well done, Carol, using them all. Um, Casey's there. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, one's hitting, one's scoring, right? Canucks win, Canucks win. Let's go, let's go. Um, Major, uh, listen, you are right. Montreal looked lost in the third period. Okay, so... I asked the question about Zadorov. Carol says, yes, you want Vancouver to sign him. Dingbat is here, and he said, yes, sign him. He's a huge presence, and his game has matured. I agree. Uh, Todd, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Uh, sign him yesterday. Absolutely. That That's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. Um, uh, re-sign Heronic and Big Z. Absolutely, Connor. I'm 100% with you. Now, it all depends on how much they both want, so I get it. But right now, if money's not an object, you got to sign both of those guys back. Tuxedo Cake from Safeway, good, but tiny and expensive at $16. Junior, here's, here's the pro tip, okay? If you want Tuxedo Cake and you're going to pay $16, pay that couple extra bucks and get the one from Costco, bro. That is awesome. The tuxedo cake is absolutely amazing. Brian, yes to Big Z. And Dingbat's like, yep, four years or four million. I would do that in a heartbeat. I wouldn't think about it. I would get him to sign on the dotted line. Okay. Jim. Jimmy. Um, it's going to be a chore to beat the Canucks in the playoffs. Yes, sign Big Z. I love your optimism, and I agree with you. If we let Heronic and Myers... Let go Horonic and Myers next year. We will save 12 million. Who will we try to get? I don't know. I think the I think what they're trying to do is sign Horonic. So I'm not really talking about life after Horonic yet, but if he's asking for nine million, we're not keeping him. I'm sorry, everyone. We're just not. We can't pay him more than Hughes, right? They were Brian supposed to win tonight, Colorado and Washington. What do you mean? Were they not supposed to win? They, were they supposed to beat Colorado? They should have beat Colorado. You're right. I was there. I went live. If you haven't seen that game yet, everyone, uh, please check it out. Please check it out. I've got it right here. This is what the video looks like. Uh, I went live to the game. Check out this video. It literally has game footage and it has everything. That's my reaction, everything there. So make sure you you check that out. And Washington, that was, a, that was just a bad game all around for Vancouver. Give credit to the Washington Capitals. They all played us, unfortunately. Yeah, we should have won. Uh, random. He's been good the last couple of games, to be honest. Are you talking Z Zadorov? Absolutely. In fact, I'm just, I'm impressed with his size. I'm impressed with his hitting. Um, people hit, would comment on him, random, that he doesn't, like he turns the puck over too much. I have not noticed that. I mean, the odd time, of course, everyone turns the puck over, right? Uh, by the way, it's 113 people in here. Hit that like and subscribe, everyone. Please do. I'd really appreciate the support, the help, the love, uh, all of it. I would really appreciate that. Okay. So I I'm all in. I am all in on him, guys. Junior says, Hughes off the post, Garland fighting Goliath. Yeah, it was crazy. He was so noticeably good, Garland, tonight. I, I love that. How many times did we hit the, the the post get hit on us, though? Like, the Smith's best friend was definitely, right? Definitely uh, the, the the post, the crossbar, right? So, uh, Dreamer says, sign Big Z and guess Montreal can't beat us without Toffoli. That's true. That's true. Hey, Rev. Uh, hey, Calum. Good to see you. Just waiting for your Hoaglander bromance. Right? Dude, I, I'm – listen – I feel like I'm in. I'm so much in love with so many of the the players on our team. Like, it depends which night, right? Like Hoglander, his effort is his tenacity, his digging for the puck, his uh, ability to get shots on net, to create plays, to create opportunities where there's no opportunities. Hoglander is is the real deal. So thankful we did not trade him at, in any of the deals at the deadline. Love that he's on our team. We need to keep a guy. This is the kind of guy you want on your team. Even though he's undersized, he has a big heart, plays like 
a monster out there. So I'm all in. That's my Hoaglander broland, bromance rant for you. Hope that was good enough for you, Callum. And it was straight from the heart, just saying. So, Jaden, good to see you. Good to have you. Big Z, the GOAT. I don't know if he's the GOAT, but I, I love him uh, as well. Let go, Myers. Keep Hrona. So I, I'm with you. I think most Canuck fans, Junior, would say that. Absolutely. Mr. Whale is in the building. Pedersen's still not skating, but it's okay. We have Zadorov and Garland. I thought Pedersen looked good tonight, Mr. Whale. I, I was really impressed with him. Very, very impressed with him. Petey, Lindholm, and Pod Colson were all good tonight. Yep, they were. They were. Absolutely were. Um, Pod Colson wasn't amazing, but he was noticeable. So I, I like them all. I like them all. Daniel, I want Zadorov, but only between three to four million. We have too, too many key players to resign. Think about it, though. We've got most of the key players. The three guys, in my opinion, that we need, we need to resign. Heronic. If he doesn't want over Hughes money, Joshua, and then my third guy is Zadorov. Who else do you think we need to sign? Who's another key player, Daniel? I would love, please po post it in there, right? Post it in there. Um, okay, I can't forget to do the story time with you guys. PD actually, Cal Callum says that PD actually made space, hit. And fought for every inch of the ice night. Check his reverse hits. Yeah, he, he was really good. The only reason Amon scored is because Big Z used a stick. <laughs> I never thought of that. That is brilliant. I wish I would have posted. I wish I would have thought of that. I'm glad you posted that, bro. By the way, Seattle just scored to tie it with Vegas. A loss by Vegas could absolutely hurt their playoff chances go cracking did did edmonton end up losing tonight as well lucas gates member next level member for three months in a row thank you lucas appreciate your support all the Habs fans in the arena and the rogers arena left the building in shock i mean what were they expecting they were they were they honestly expecting to beat us lucas nice to see the canucks left them speechless and in mockery I wasn't there tonight, but I assume considering the past and tonight. Yes, I wasn't there either. So let me get this straight, Junior says. Next year, Myers, Lindholm, and Hronik will be bare minimum 17 minutes. No, we're not. We're not. I do not think we're keeping Lindholm. I do not think we're keeping Lindholm. And I, I'm unsure if we're going to keep Myers. So... I think that's, I'll do a video on this, Junior, so we'll, I'll explain it, I'll explain it. So, probably 60% Montreal, yep, absolutely, a sea of red. Rev, what's your dream realistic playoff matchup? Uh, okay, so Joshua, I, I because I'm not only passionate and realistic and honest, I'll tell you my honest take on this. I don't think that we should have a dream or realistic playoff matchup. If you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. You can't be like, oh, we don't want to play this team. We don't want to play. At the end of the day, when we, so I, I was listening to uh, Sportsnet today, 650 on the radio. And they said the way it's shaping up right now, most likely we're either going to be, we're going to be playing Vegas first round. And if we play Vegas, I'm telling you right now, we're winning that. Mark Stone's not going to be back. He's not going to be healthy by then. And even if he is, he just come off a major injury. I don't. I'm. I do not fear Vegas like I used to. They are not playing the same way. So I don't mind playing Vegas. Nashville is actually playing much better than them, but I don't fear Nashville either. We've had their number this year. Minnesota, we could beat Minnesota, but then after that everyone's going to be good. And I'm not saying those teams are bad, okay? What I'm saying is you're going to play good teams. You're in the playoffs now. There's no weak teams that make the, the playoffs. Some of those uh, low-end teams make it there. And then, like, I would love to play the Oilers first round and knock them out first. I think we can beat the Oilers. I think we can beat the Kings. There's no one in the Pacific Division that scares me that I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to play them. Okay, Joshua? So, but when it comes to teams like Colorado, 
Um, possibly Dallas. I still think we're better than Dallas. Um, I mean, Winnipeg, we beat them 5 nothing last time, but they owned us the game before. So I'm not sure how a seven-game series goes against Winnipeg. I, I think we have a good shot of winning. So basically what I'm saying is the only team that I'm nervous about is Colorado. And the more you advance, eventually you're going to meet them most likely. So I don't have a dream matchup. I just think I don't care who we play. I can't wait for the playoffs to start. And I'm looking forward to getting some wins and winning some playoff rounds. Mike, I get why they messed up and played the goal horn for Montreal's goal. Yeah, that's fine. It's no big deal to me. I mean, it's human error, right? Jaden, I know we don't agree, Kempner, but uh, I really want to see Lindholm with Pedersen for a little while. I, I'm okay with that. I just don't think he's a winger. I, I think we've already seen it, Jaden. So, but it, that's cool. If if you want to see them, I would prefer seeing the Lotto line, and then Lindholm being on the second line as a second line center, Bluger and Joshua and, and Garland there, and the, on the third line as the lifeline, and then the fourth line has Suter. And then Pud Colson and PDG, or you know, there's a there's a number of guys there that could play in the a Lafferty could play there, you know, those kind of guys. So, so yeah, um, I know we don't agree, but that's okay. I'm that's okay. I think they might put them back together. I just don't. I think the experiment's over. I I don't think they're gonna put them together anymore. But they could. I liked it. I liked it when there was Swedish line. Godzilla awaken Angelo says keep him for sure. Yeah, we need to keep you need guys like Zadorov in the playoffs. That's exactly how I feel. Exactly. I love Zadorov, but it comes down to signing Z Zaddy or Joshua. I'm saying, yeah. I think you can sign both. That's what I'm saying. So half the crowd had red jerseys. Shocking. It's never like that, right? It's never shocking. I know you're being facetious there. Miller was playing hurt, I think, tonight. Yeah. If we can get Myers and Zadora for 6.5 combined, oh, yeah, that would be awesome, honestly. Victor, yes to Z. As for Moronic, for Moronic, of the 10 best defense in the league, eight out of the 10 are right-handed. Wow. You can't get the right-handed quality defense as easy as you think. We do have prospects also coming up. Right. So, Victor, by the way, good to see you, my friend miss you um here's the thing so you have heronic right hand and shot d myers right hand shot d Julson. then i believe if i if i have memory serves me correctly d pd right the defenseman from sweden he i believe is right handed shot defenseman and then so is v lander so we've got in our system a number of good guys there but you're right. Having that right-handed shot defenseman is very, very valuable. Uh, Ricky D. Canucks are the best Canadian uh, team since 1991. Best record. Need the cup. Dude, 1993, the Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. So that would be my only pushback there. But we are very, very good. Yeah. Um. Joshua needs to be signed. Yep, absolutely. If Myers didn't play RD, I would let him walk. Free agency is weak on RD this year. Okay. Neil, good to have you here. Big Z is a big yes to me as well. Justin, do you think Brock could be traded next year or to create cap space? It's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. But, I mean, how do you trade a guy who just scored 35 goals for you? Turn it around. You, you've gone through all the tough years, but may, maybe they do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Edmonton won 8-3. to three. I saw it at 3-3. Three, three. Wow. They opened the floodgates. Glad we have Garland still signed for two years. Absolutely. Last year, I was really frustrated at Garland. Made a video on him that he wasn't that good. Boy, I am wrong. He's doing exactly what we were hoping he would do when he came over from the... Arizona Coyotes, and uh, my brother told me, trust me, Trev, this guy's good. By the way, 140 people in here tonight. Hit the like and subscribe, everyone. So glad that you're here. Okay, let's talk. Myers is going to be a beast in the playoffs if we can sign him for a Luke Shen type 2 million or less type contract. He's a keeper. 
Callum, you got to watch my video, my prediction contract video. That's exactly what I say in there. Talk about some other things. I know I'm going to be rifling on my cousin in Montreal after this. Yes, Lucas, give him the gears. Give him the gears. Okay. So, guys, uh, I I hope that you got fired up, man. I hope that's because of the stream and, and there's so much going on. Okay. So, I want to get into a story. So, let's, let's just wait a second here. But I want to just give a shout out to my friend Monty. He's late to the party, missed the game due to work, but I'm pumped to see the score. Dude, it was it was a good night. It was a good night to be a Canucks fan. It was great. Good to have you here, my friend. Okay. Uh, Monty, we have, a, we have a mutual friend, and I'm going to tell you the story right now. So please stick around because, listen, you're going to love this. Okay. So Monty and I have friends named – we'll just use their first names, okay? Mike and Julia, friends of ours, okay? They're she's from Newfoundland. They live there right now. Okay. She's a massive, massive, guys, massive uh Habs fan. She is passionate as passionate can be. Okay. So I made my predictions video today. If you haven't seen it on on uh Instagram reels, on um on my the Facebook page. On, and I believe I put it as a YouTube short. Go check it out. It's one minute long, okay? And then I sent it to her, okay? Just because I said that we're going to win 4 nothing, okay? So she says, um, go Habs, like all capital letters. I'll, and then I, because I sent her the, I sent it to her, okay, everyone? This is what it looks like. I sent it to her and I said, trigger warning. And she says, I'll kick you in the trigger warning. And she starts laughing. I said, you you are going to be sleeping while the Canucks are uh, beating down your Habs. I responded to Julia. I knew this was going to get her triggered. Okay. And because that, what are they, four or five hours ahead of us? So she goes, ha, ha, ha. I'll be sleeping sound knowing that my Habs are slain. And then I said, I wish you were awake because I'd love to have you on my post-game live stream show. Monty, think about this. Could you imagine if Julia was on right now? How awesome would it be if I got Julia to come? She would be all in her Montreal garb. She would be passionate. She would be hilarious. I would absolutely love to have her on our show, especially after a Canucks win but, or whatever, right? And if, and if the Canucks lost, I would still have her on the show because she's just so fun. Then she says, oh, man, that'd be amazing. Can you write me a sick note to excuse me from work tomorrow? And then she laughs. And I'm like, sure. And then she laughs again. Thanks. So I took the time. Guys, girls, I took the time, get this, to write her boss a note. Okay? Listen to this. To whom it may concern, sometimes in, in life, things get in the way of very important things like work. Julia does not live to work, but she works to live. Part of that living is watching her favorite hockey team, the Montreal Canadiens. She is a faithful and dedicated fan. Now, not only would she like to watch the game, she's been invited to go on the Kempner Canucks post-game show. Unfortunately, that affects her sleep, and she wouldn't be able to make it into work tomorrow. As an employer, I know that normally... That would be a no-brainer decline of a request, but allow me to share with you why this is something you should consider. First of all, this show is not like any kind of hockey show. Kempner Canucks promises to produce passionate, realistic, and honest content. And as you know, if there is someone with the character of passionate, that is Julia. Second, she's been challenged on the internet that her team is going to lose 4 nothing versus Vancouver. Let's be honest. Those are fighting words. Finally, imagine Trevor's passion and versus Julia's passion online going head to head. That would make for great contact that very well could go viral, hence making her more popular than she is now and inevitably causing your company to be more popular than it, it already is. Anyways, I appreciate your consideration. And after this, Quick letter for allowing uh, her to miss work tomorrow. Thanks again. You rock and go Canucks go. Rev Trev, 
aka Kempner Canucks. She responds, literally laughing out loud. And I said, it's worth a shot. And I said, then I said to her, I think that you are just dodging me. You don't actually work tomorrow. And you're just afraid that the fur would fly on the show. And I said, just kidding. Hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. And I hope you don't cry yourself to sleep when you look at your phone right before you go to bed and realize the Canucks are up for nothing like I predicted. And she laughed. Okay. How was that for a story time, everyone? How was that? I mean, come on, man. Oh, Monty, come on. Are you still here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so he knows her so well. She would lose it. <laughs> no, <laughs> Coach Rob Bully, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I would love to bring her on. I've got to get on the weekend. One of the weekends, I've got to get her on because she is just, she's so much fun. But she just loves talking about her Habs. So, I, I don't know, you know, yeah. So, anyways, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that? Uh, Callum, Julia, Julia. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. I just thought it was too good not to share with you guys, you girls, because you guys are just amazing. And um, Vegas scored late to win, rooting for them to miss playoffs. Yes. Okay. I'm so glad you enjoyed that story. I, I was worried that it wasn't going to fly, but I, I thought it was pretty, pretty funny. Pretty funny, everyone. Okay. Let's dive in to some other stuff here let's go to what were we going to talk about tonight as well oh i want us to look at the stats for a moment okay so let's let's bring up the stats because i think it's actually quite interesting it, it does tell a little bit more of the tape in my opinion okay so obviously zadorov gets those first two goals both wrist shots incredible mikhail getting two points on that on those, Lindholm gets a gets another assist there as well, and Lafferty. Look at this, everyone. Shots on goal, twenty five to seventeen. Um, only got outshot in the second by three, but I mean we're in control of this game. But watch this. So they they won more faceoffs, which was surprising. As we talked about, nobody scored on the power play. Penalty minutes were ten to eight, but look at this hits. 40 to 24. This is what a playoff team does, everyone. They come out hitting. They come out playing. Now, Montreal had more block shots than we did. The so giveaways were the same, but takeaways were 12 to 4. Now, Julia, if you're still watching this, I want you to know, if you're watching this tomorrow, Vancouver has swept Montreal this year, beat you 5-2 in the first game and 4-1. Listen, your team sucks compared to ours. Let's just be honest. This is not like you competed well. You literally ran into the better team, the best in the West, and you just can't, you're not good enough yet. I don't know when the Montreal Canadiens are going to be good enough. I do not know when they're going to be good enough. So you tell me, Julia, uh, you can post in the comments, but listen, your team is garbage this year. I don't know when they're going to be good next. Okay, let's go into uh, around the league, okay? So New York crushes Boston. That's a massive matchup, everyone. Around the league. Love seeing the Rangers beat the Bruins. Love it. I, I cannot stand the Bruins. They're, they're, they're just terrible. I mean, they're fun to watch, but come on. Panarin apparently scores a hat trick. Got him in our hockey pool. Love it. Love it. Carolina beats uh, Philly 3-2 in overtime. Detroit destroys the Islanders. Man, the Islanders are terrible. How come they, I mean, maybe they're not. I got to go check the schedule right after this. Then, the, the look at this. The New Jersey Devils beat Winnipeg 4-1. That is impressive. I like New Jersey a lot. They have not played up to their potentials here. St. Louis is trying to stay alive. 5-2 over Ottawa. Nashville beats Florida. That's huge news, everyone. That's massive news. And then you got the Buffalo getting smoked by Edmonton, 8-3. to three. That's nuts. Anaheim blanks Chicago 4 nothing. Vancouver obviously wins. Vegas ends up winning 3-1 and uh, beats the Kraken. Are, uh, again, both rivals for us. And then the Tampa Bay Lightning destroy San Jose 4-1. I want to ask you guys a question, everyone. Are you getting worried about the Oilers catching us yet? I'm not there, 
But boy, look at uh, let's let's look at shots on net, everyone. 39-29. They almost had 40 shots. Hits were 32-28. That was close. Block shots. Like honestly, other than shots, but look at this. They were down 2 0. Dry saddle scores 2 1. Okay. Tied 2 2, 3 2, tied 3 3. Third period, they score five goals, everyone. Five. This is insane. Insane. But Buffalo beat them in, in shootout and they came back and beat them there. Wow. That is nuts. Tell me if you're in the comments if you're getting nervous yet. I'm not there yet. I still think we're the better team. Okay. Um, great prediction. Yeah, on my nose. Oh, and I second that when it comes to Julia. I love her and Mike, but their hearts are on the wrong team. No, listen, Mike, Mike is a Canucks fan who also appreciates uh, Montreal. He also knows that his wife's a huge Montreal Canadiens fan, and his son is their son is uh, a Habs fan as well. So Mike's a smart guy who he cheers for Vancouver and Montreal. And you're right, Julia would lose it. <laughs> yes, I, I was shocked, Mike, to see that as well. We have been in first place for over 90 days. That's insane. In the West, you mean, right? Montreal has a bright future. They do. I don't see it. Who's their bright future? Tell me who their best players are because I can't tell you who they are. I mean, we got Suzuki. He's okay. He's not a star, everyone. Name someone else. I, I can't. I think they have young, good defensemen. I don't think their goaltending's good. I, I don't think Montreal's future is bright. I think they're young. I don't think they're bright. The future, that is. When you look at face-offs, please keep in mind this stat can be misleading. How, man, my face-offs, how many face-offs won for each team are in the offensive dome? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. Monty says, Julia knows the West Coast is the best coast. That's right. That's right. Preach it, Monty. She is trying to live in denial. By the way, Monty, did I tell you that I had this chocolate cake? Friends came over. But, oh, guys, I'm just telling you right now, I wish you could eat this. I wish you could come over to my house and have this chocolate cake. It's honestly amazing. Um, The truth hurts sometimes, Julia. That's what we're trying to say. All right. Uh, Monty does rock, man. He does. Speaking of stats, Canucks is once again number one in goal differential at plus 58. Florida is sec second at plus 56. That's amazing. I mean, we've been slowing down offensively too. We have 149 people in here, everyone. Hit the like and subscribe. Appreciate you all. Good night, Callum. Good to have you here. Sweet dreams of Lord Stanley's Cup. And we will see you on Saturday when we beat the Flames. Absolutely, buddy. Oilers finished first. Yeah, you're, Angela, you're a big, uh, you believe in the Oilers more than Vancouver. My, you might be right. Uh, Montreal has to sacrifice a perfect red cow, then make a phone call to Patrick Wall and apologize, and that the curse would be lifted <laughs> and Montreal would be a contender. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. So, Carol, you're getting a little nervous. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, Richard, the Canucks definitely were rocking tonight. I, I loved it. Suzuki to Detroit and Caulfield to Pittsburgh. I mean, those are their pe best players. Why would they trade them there? I, I don't get it. So if they're trying to rebuild, I don't get it. I don't think Edmonton is playing that well. It took them a four-minute power play for them to squeak a 3-2 win against Montreal in overtime. We do our own job down the stretch. There's no issues. Yeah. Demko for Vesna. I think with this entry, he's not going to win it now, but I hope he does. I hope he does. 151 people in here, everyone. This is insane. I love it. I'm loving it, everyone. So glad that you're here. Um, now, I want to post, post in the comments any questions that you have regarding tonight's game, regarding the Canucks going forward. Um, maybe you guys can post in 
who do you want to face going into the playoffs coming up? That would be really awesome as well. So I'd love to hear your comments. We're just going to go for another five, maybe 10 minutes, and we're going to call it a night, everyone. But yeah, post in the comments there. Um, but yeah, so good to have everyone. Thank you again, Lucas, for your membership. Uh, appreciate appreciate you a ton, man. Appreciate you a ton. So, um, oh, by the way, I'll uh, I'll just as we we kind of segue that, I do want to remind us regarding memberships. Is four ninety nine gets you the the Rev Trev membership. You don't have to do this. Subscribing is free. Becoming a Rev Trev member is what costs. Loyalty badges and custom emojis. That's what a lot of people are posting in the YouTube portion of it. This is all for YouTube, by the way. You click the join button, the membership button on my YouTube page, and you can do that. Or there's a little um, a cash button that's down below. Also, I do next level members, which Lucas is, Carol is, Shannon is. You get all the Rev Trev perks plus member shout outs. And then you get a group video call for the next level members. So, uh, yeah, just want to remind you, think about it. No pressure. And I, I try to live stream after every game. I think I've only missed one this year, maybe two. I think I've done every other game this year. So join the conversation. Saturday night, we're going to be go talking here again. I, I love the interaction with people. I don't like it. It's just me. Um so I love answering your questions. I love talking to faithful fans like you guys and girls. Appreciate you a ton. Okay. So I asked, who do you want to play or who you are you? Uh, yeah. Who do you want to play or who are you afraid of? No. Who do you want to play? So Angela says Nashville. Roland says Vegas or the Preds. Okay. So there's a good chance we're going to be playing one of those two. Uh, maybe Minnesota instead of the Vegas. I uh, can't wait for Edmonton versus Vancouver. I'm looking forward to that series too, because I, in my opinion, it's going to cause a rivalry. They're ticked off that we beat them three times this year already. And uh, that's, that's the thing. If Vancouver wants to be the best, they need to beat the best. Bring on Colorado, Edmonton, and Vegas. All are tough, but doable. I mean, we haven't beaten Colorado yet this season, but I, I they do. They're the only team that makes me really nervous. Roland. Avs, Knucks, West final. I'd love that. I'd love that. Absolutely love it. First round, I'd rather see Vegas to get Demko going. Absolutely. I can't wait for Demko to come back, too. Nice hat. I see and North Carolina team having to face Coach K's team. I'm I, I'm pumped. So, no, wait a minute. Coach K's team? Is that Duke? Yes. Let me go there. I want to. I want to go to my team. It, I don't know how many of us joined. How many of us joined the the Rev Trev March Madness pool? I did five brackets, but I only did one in there. Okay, let me just see March Madness pool Rev Trev. Yeah, here it is. View bracket. I'm in first place. Oh, it's only how many people are in here? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm in first place now, guys. I've got 13 points. This sucks. This sucks. Okay. So let me just see. Um, UNC plays all oh, Coach K. Are you, are you, you're talking about Izzo, aren't, aren't, don't you mean? Michigan, North Carolina, that's going to be a great game. When is that the saying to be announced? When is that game? That's probably going to happen Saturday. That is must-see TV for me, North Carolina versus Michigan State. One of my best friends, Sean, he, uh, he's the hugest Michigan State fan in the world. He's a huge Magic Johnson fan, and I'm the North Carolina guy because I love Michael Jordan. And um, so, yeah, I cannot wait, cannot wait for that, everyone. Okay, thanks, though. Vegas or Preds, not L.A.? Yeah, L.A.'s just boring to watch, too, right? I'd love to play Minnesota or St. Louis, not Nashville. They have points in 16 straight games and smoke Florida Day 3-0. We'll probably get Vegas. I think we'll, we'll either get Vegas, Mini, or St. Louis as long as we keep that number one in the West spot. So, Junior, win Cup and say bye Myers, Lindholm, McKayev, Hronik, 
and sign Joshua and Luke and Jack Hughes somehow. <laughs> the, the contracts aren't up, brother. <laughs> that that's dreaming right there. But I, I love I love the thought. If the Canucks finish first overall, imagine how many game sevens could take place in Vancouver as long as they don't choke. Absolutely. Well, you could have four of them, right? You could have four of them. Justin, don't see one really scary team to play, but also could lose to any of the teams first round so much parity in this league this year, especially. You know what, bro? I want you to know I agree with you so much on this because that's why I love the NHL and the NFL. There's parity. That's why I don't really love baseball. Like it's already, there's so many teams that aren't even in it. There's so many teams that don't have a chance to win before the season even starts. And hockey and football, you just never know. You got teams like Vancouver who were terrible last year. Now they're the best in the West. Like, come on now. Are you kidding me? So I'm, I'm with you. Just not LA, please. Yeah, Casey, you're right. Member Casey. Snoring. It would be snoring. Yeah. I'm second. And my Duke versus your North Carolina. Oh, man. I mean, that would be the finals, right? I picked Kentucky to go to the finals. So I'm out, dude. I'm out. So, too bad McKeev is stuck here. Yeah. I mean, I think he's playing a little bit better, but, yeah, he's not earning the, enough money for how much he's getting paid. Last time the Canucks were first and had home ice advantage during the playoffs, they made it to the finals. Woo! I like that stat. Baseball is good now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I need to start watching it. But, like, okay, so – Playoffs are expanded. Arizona made the World Series last year out of nowhere. I know, but like, who actually has a chance to win? Like five teams, six teams, honestly? Some stack teams. I don't know if it's good now. But I'll, I'll check it out this year because you said that. Vegas gets to inject Stone into this equation. I, I don't think he's going to play. I, I really don't think he's going to play in the first round. I, I'm a huge basketball fan. Uh, I like the NBA. I just don't have a lot of time for it, even though I really do like it. But March Madness, there's no better. There's no better tournament than March Madness. There's not. I don't care. If, it is the best. It is the best. Win and you and you last. Lose, you're out. It's amazing. Can we start a GoFundMe to get Miller some titanium ankle guards? Right. LA scares me the least, but I don't think I can handle seven games of that god awful boring trap they play. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say god awful, I, um, but yeah, it's it's bad, it's bad because God's not awful; He's wonderful. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone's doing well. 140 people in here. Appreciate each one of you. Uh, I need to I need to call it quits, everyone. It's been four. It's going to be 49. It's going to be 50 minutes by the time we finish tonight. So just a reminder before we head out that there is going to be a live stream coming up, and I really want to encourage you to come. Saturday night, against the Flames. I hope we beat down the Flames. I hope it's like 7-0, but 7-2 would be great. That's what I want to see. Hope that you're doing well, everyone. Hit the like and subscribe. And, of course, always, everyone, always, we say what? We say, go Canucks, go.